Fashionable. Hey guys, your girl Sim is back and I'm back with a video today. I've missed you guys so much but today it is Good Friday and I'm actually going to show you guys how I make my Easter bun. So without further ado, I'll get right into it. So this recipe I'm not going to take any credit for it because I've actually using the recipe that has been given to me by a very special lady. Um, I hope she's watching my videos and she knows herself. So firstly, I've got my melted butter, which I've already melted the butter. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pour it in. And this, you will find the amount in the description below, so don't worry about that, I'll tell you later. But this is actually two and a half ounces of melted butter. So I've melted the butter and I've already put it aside to cool, because I've done my prep, because it will take too long to do all of this. Um, and then, famous old dragon stout that I'm putting in there. Tell me if you'll see my head and everything. When I'm standing. Please, guys, I didn't remember to open my open the stout, so I'm just gonna open it now. So remember, I've got my butter already made. I'm pouring in my um, my one dragon stout. That pours into my mixture, and I put that down there. So mixing that away. But I've already got my one as well, which I've measured out, and this is half a cup of wine. So add that to my mixture as well. Adding a teaspoon of vanilla. This is, look at it, it is Dunn's River Jam. One tablespoon. That's a tablespoon of jam. Ah, it's not coming off. And um, the, the recipe actually says eight ounce of dark sugar, but for me, that is too sweet. So I'm actually adding half of that. So I put actually four ounces in because it's just too sweet for me for eight ounces. So I like my sugar in and then you just, just really mix that out until it's all, all your sugar granules have dissolved. And that smell that's coming out with the vanilla and the dragon stout is actually really, really nice smell. Half a teaspoon of browning for that one. Should we see? Add that into my mixture again. And that will give your bun the nice colour that you want it to have. Right, so egg is an option. You can add an egg to your mixture, or if there's someone that doesn't have egg, you don't have to add it. So an egg is an is an option. So guys, this is my one egg, and make sure your eggs beat nicely. So you see my eggs, and then I'm just gonna add that to my liquid mixture, and then I'll show you guys how I make my dry all the dry ingredients, and then we can go. So, right, so once that's beat, beat, can't get my words out tonight. So once you beat that properly, then you can add that to your mixture. Right, so you just simply, as I said before, mix all of that together. Just make sure that all your sugar granules are out and also just make sure that the jam is actually mixed out as well. Because with that in there, it can be a little bit you don't want it just going to one place in the bun, you'd want it that even distributed, so you just mix that out. So right, so that's all mixed and I've set that aside. So now I'm gonna do my dry ingredients. And for my dry ingredients, I've got another little bottle here. And I've got another mixing spoon. And here I'm using one pound of plain flour. I've already sieved this anyway, guys, so it's already sieved and measured out. And to that, I am adding, again, I've already grated my nutmeg, and to this, I'm adding a one um, teaspoon of nutmeg to my mixture. 
my cinnamon powder again I'm adding one teaspoon of cinnamon powder yeah. for the mixed spice I'm adding one tablespoon so I'll add two two teaspoon equals one tablespoon so I'm adding two that's two and for your salt I'll be adding a quarter um, a quarter teaspoon of salt and baking powder I will be adding and this is baking powder guys and I'm adding one tablespoon of baking powder so again I'm using two teaspoons which is one tablespoon that's one two I'm going to mix that all together just so that I'll get all the spices mixed into the flour because remember it's Easter spice bun so you actually need to taste the spice and guys if you can smell through the camera you would know what I'm talking about this smells I'm telling you I am telling you and then you will see when I finish baking so now I've, I've already measured out my um, my dry, this is dry mixed fruit and I'm using a quarter pound. I've already weighed it out and all that. I'm just going to add it to my mixture. And for the last ingredient, it is my dry mixed peel. I'm not advertising Tesco. I didn't get it free from Tesco. I actually paid for it. So this is not free promo from Tesco. And for this, it is a quarter pound. I'm putting half of this top. This is actually 200 grams, and I'm going to put 100 gram into my mix. So I'm doing half of it. And then again, all I do is just mix that up so it's evenly distributed. Right, so now that I've combined all my dry ingredients, I'm just going to add it to my liquid. Yeah? And I like to scoop it in a small bit at a time. Just so that I mix it properly and it's not... I don't get lumps into my, my mixture. This is what your mixture will look like once you've um, got all your ingredients already mixed up. So now I am going to actually get my loaf tin that I prepare already for my for my bun. Right, so guys, here's my loaf tin that I've already prepared. So I'm just gonna scrape it in. So that's gonna be my bun, which my oven is already preheated to 180 degrees, which I'm gonna pop that in. Oh, before I forget, I'm gonna put some cherries on top of my cake. Where is the cherries? I'm actually just adding some cherries on top of it. So there you go, and that also looks like. So that is now going into the oven. And then I will show you what the finished product look like. Hey guys, so as promised, um, there you are, there it goes. That's the finished bun that I've just made. You saw me doing all the prep. That's the finished bun. And the little small one that I made. There it's go. And I've actually got a fit nice hunk here who's gonna taste it for me. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna try, I'm gonna be the first out of me and Sim to try it. So I've got the bun here, we've got some cheese as well, so I'm gonna try it first. Oh gosh, no, that's proper. It's so succulent, you can taste the juices inside as well. So, I mean even the bun by itself would be really good. Jesus compliments. How, how does yours taste? Perfect. 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 See? So, perfect bun. So guys, as you've just seen, we've just come to the end of this video where we've shown you how to make Jamaican bun. We have been with cheese. So, again, from me, you know what I'm going to say that I love you, but God loves you best. Um, just keep watching my videos. Bye for now. And if you want bun, check Sim. That's it!